It drives hurricanes, forms clouds, and carries energy across the globe. So just what is this formidable force of nature? It's the greenhouse gas you haven't heard much about. Water vapor is the greenhouse gas. Carbon dioxide is the next one down. The next one after that is methane. Then we also have ozone. These greenhouse gases are what NASA scientist Ed Olson is studying as part of the AIRS project. AIRS stands for the Atmospheric Infrared Sounder, a uh, instrument on the Aqua spacecraft, which is in a polar orbit. We make 300,000 observations per day, land, ocean, pole to pole. 300,000 measurements a day? Yes. We slice and dice the atmosphere. It looks down at the Earth and measures infrared energy. That's heat from the sun absorbed by the planet and re-emitted into the atmosphere. We feel it as heat on our own bodies. The warmer areas in my body are showing up as deep red. The cool areas in the background are, are blue. AIRS uses that heat radiance to track water cycles, temperatures, and concentrations of greenhouse gases across the globe, like carbon dioxide. So why are people talking about carbon dioxide so much more than water vapor when that's the number one greenhouse gas? Well, because carbon dioxide, we think we can put our arms around one of the sources because it comes out of smokestacks, it comes out of our various human activity. There's not much we can do about water vapor. Most of it comes from evaporating oceans. And remember, the planet's two-thirds water. As we warm up a little bit, the atmosphere can carry more water vapor, which has an amplification factor on warming. Water vapor forms clouds, and depending on where they are, they can either reflect the sun's heat or keep it from escaping. Some of it goes up, some of it goes back down again, and that's how we can maintain our particular temperature that we know and love here on the surface of the Earth. It's all part of the puzzle of how our planet could change in the future as it reacts to higher levels of greenhouse gases, be it natural or man-made. We can only attempt to control the things that we emit ourselves. It's a roadmap for the future that can help guide our actions now.